हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू ऑल अबाउट द मेथड ऑफ इंप्रूविंग बियरिंग कैपेसिटी बाय सोयल रिप्लेसमेंट व्हिच इज एक्चुअली अ मेथड ऑफ ग्राउंड इंप्रूवमेंट एंड इट इज बीइंग एक्सप्लेन्ड विद अ केस एग्जांपल नाउ द मेथड ऑफ रिप्लेसिंग सोयल अंडर शैलो फाउंडेशन यूजुअली रिड्यूसेस कंसोलिडेशन सेटलमेंट and in turn helps increase the soil bearing capacity it has advantages over other ground improvement techniques and deep foundations as it is more economical easy to execute at the site especially in dry soils where there is no water table being met at the site and saves a lot of time in construction <coughs> now coming over to my next slide explaining it with the help of a figure this is actually a case study which i am discussing with you all about construction of a reinforced cement concrete box culvert rcc box culvert for a small vehicular underpass svup now you all might be noticing that ground level has been depicted here now the stratigraphy of the site as was met at the site is being mentioned in the figure which says that Siltis and SM group of soil is present from ground level to 1.00 meter below the natural ground level, followed by plastic clay silt of MI group of IS soil classification <coughs> from 1 meter to 7 meter below normal ground level, and which was further being followed up by non-plastic sandy silt ML type soil from 7 to 10 meter. and finally again the silty sand type of soil met at the end from 10 meter to 15.40 meter the total depth of borehole explored <coughs> i am giving you all a 3d impression of the figure and the standard penetration test values obtained have also been depicted on the left hand side of the image this says that as the top silty sand was met with Till only one meter depth below ground level, there was no standard penetration test SPT value recorded in it. But the main soil, the plastic clay silt MI type soil, which actually produced a lot of settlement in this, had three, five, eight, and fifteen as SPT values. And the layer three, the sandy silt ML type soil, had SPT values of nineteen and twenty-three. while the last layer of sm type soil had 20 22 and 25 and 28 as the standard penetration test values so after doing the calculations for proposed desired dimensions of reinforced cement concrete rcc for raft of size 20 by 20 meter by 8 meter at a foundation depth of 1.50 meter below ground level we got the bearing capacity as 6 ton per square meter why because it produced the settlement which while getting those settlements within the prescribed permissible settlement limits as per indian standard code 1904 1984 we could get only 6 ton per square meter as the bearing capacity now what we decided was as a ground improvement solution being adopted for this very site we decided to replace 1.50 meter thick soil layer from below the proposed founding level that is from 1.50 to 3 meter depth from the founding level by a non cohesive sandy granular soil of requisite properties that is we decided to excavate out this clay silt mi type soil and got it replaced by non cohesive sandy granular soil assuming its cohesion to be zero and angle of internal friction is 29 degree with desired assumed values of bulk density and void ratio compacted this 1.5 meter thick sand layer in three in five layers of 30 cm thickness each now the results obtained were bearing capacity improved by around 183% that is around 2.83 times from 6 ton per square meter to 17 ton per square meter for the same foundation size at 1.50 meter depth below ground level 
तो वॉट वॉज द रीजन ऑफ इट्स इम्प्रूवमेंट वॉज दैट द कॉन्सुलेशन सेटलमेंट रेड्यूस्ड एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ रिप्लेसिंग दिस कोजिव सॉइल विद नॉन कोजिव सॉइल तो वॉट इन दंड वी गॉट वॉज वी ओबेन अ वेरी गुड बियरिंग कैप्सिटी एंड विद we could decide with the help of a structure engineer and client concerned to go ahead with this solution so dear friends this is what wish i wished to explain you all in this lecture of mine namaskar and thank you keep on subscribing to my youtube channel geotechnical engineering consultancy tips thank you thank you very much